Hey guys, I figured I'd uh, show you some of my mineral specimens. This one here is uh, from the Katanga mines in Africa. All these, these are all torbanite. All of these. This one here is actual torbanite. It, uh, it is still crystally. It's hard to see it through this damn bag, but uh, it has not dehydrated yet. It's really hard to see in this bag and in this light. I probably should have done it inside. But it is a beautiful specimen. I'll try to add some pictures afterwards. But it is a stunning piece. This one's actually probably one of my favorites. It has a little bit of pitch blend on it on the top. A little tiny bit right there. Mouse eye. I mean, when I say mouse eye, it's tiny. But I don't want to take it out of this because I'm trying to keep this one as, as beautiful as I can. And that's the uh, Katanga piece. And then these guys here, the other ones here are from uh, Avrion, France. <clears throat> these are also absolutely beautiful. I mean, they're not as pretty as the uh, Katanga piece, but... They are beautiful. Very, very hot pieces, I'll tell you that much. I don't like handling these for obvious reasons. Why? <laughs> I keep a cotton ball with uh, distilled water in there to try to keep these crystals from dehydrating any further. And it does seem to be working. Uh, <clears throat> there's another piece in here. The original piece that I had from a long time ago. I'll take it out in a second. But right now, I'm just going to show you guys the uh, uh, how, how warm this stuff is. Yeah. Okay. This is with the stainless steel probe cover on. I mean, uh, stainless steel uh, wipe test plate on it. It's in uh, counts per minute. About 83,000. Now imagine that. Those are two giant chunks of <laughs> torbanite. Alright. And that's with the, the plate on there, right? Now this is the, the Katango mining. So this is just gamma. This is gamma only. Remember those numbers. 83,000. And this one's 18,000, about 20,000. Give or take. And this one, these guys here, well, I gotta take them out of the jar. I will in a minute, but first I wanna show you this radium gauge. This is from uh, 1940, 1941, I think, if I'm not mistaken. It's a military. Uh, gauge out of a uh, Warbird. I don't remember which one, but uh, that thing is right full of uh, radium chloride or bromide or chlor uh, chloride. I don't remember exactly which. Sulfide, I'm sorry. Radium sulfide. 
Uh, back then, they didn't know that if they doped it with copper or silver, it would make it brighter. So instead, what they did was just added massive amounts of the radium chloride, which is absolutely insane. So this is this is just gamma. Uh, <clears throat> this is like a foot away. Now this is yeah, on top of it. about 120,000. Right, now this, that's just gamma. So if this is with the gauge open. Sixty-four thousand counts per minute from a gauge, and that's like all the way around it too. This thing is like full of radium, the liquid that's in there. Uh, here's these guys. This is gonna definitely overflow the meter. I'm not even close to it. 233,000, 239, that's overflow, 250 over range, over range, Now this is through the bag, so hundred and thirty six. Ooh, two hundred and thirty nine. Two hundred and thirty. That one looks like it has some autonite mixed in with it a little bit. Let me open. I'm going to open up the jar. I'll show you some autonite as well. Okay, so this is Aunt Night from the Daybreak line in Washington. You'll see these guys a little bit better uh, later on. I'm not, I'm not even going to show you my Aunt Nights yet. This was just the one that happened to be in the, with, in the jar with the, uh, the other pieces of torbonite. This is another small piece of piece of torbonite. Nice, beautiful uh, square cubicle uh, crystal structure. Which I don't get to see very often, so when I saw this specimen, I was like, "Oh, gotta get that." I always see the uh, lamb layer, like like uh, 
at the uh, Ott Knights. Because Torbanite is a member of the Ott Knight family. And here's the other Torbanite specimen. Look, it's also from France, and it looks exactly like the others. Another little nice chunky piece. This one looks strange on the other side though. Ooh, this wind is crazy today. We're supposed to get like tornadoes apparently tomorrow. Lucky us. This one has some shiny crystals on it as well. Weird looking ones on the bottom of this one though. Just as warm. There's a nice square piece, crystally square piece. All right, guys. So I just wanted to show you guys that. I hope you appreciated the uh, view of my uh, turbinites. And uh, next time will be the Ott Nights and maybe some of the other ones. Thanks for watching, guys.